Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this celebration. Our opening hymn is 686, Here I Am, Lord. It's in the gathering hymn. Sinners, Christ, have mercy. 
You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Lord, Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth the peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, of the begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who will that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant we pray that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may marry to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as, as the netherworld, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not, is not enough for you to worry people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. <laughs> Responsorial Psalm. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wished not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocausts or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, and I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me, To do your will, O oh my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O oh Lord, know. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. The second reading is taken from the letter to the Hebrews. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, it's in, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocausts and sin offerings you took no delight. Then I said, As is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to you, come to do your will, O God. First he says, Sacrifices and offerings, Holocausts and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. 
Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Jesus again. A 
another one who says, yes, Lord. It was mentioned here in the Gospel today about Elizabeth. And Elizabeth said yes to the plan of God too. And she was there to welcome the mother of God who was more concerned with her cousin than anything else about herself. Maybe we can call that the third renunciation, renunciation of a person to recognize God working among us. Now does the renunciation of God it stops there? I don't believe so. God continues to announce His presence to all of us. Now think about it. What did God announce to you? It so happened today that Paul and Agnes Kim are here today celebrating their 50th anniversary. It's the announcement of God's love present in the Eucharist. In the celebration of matrimony. God asks you to, be, to shine and be sign of that love for others. Maybe some of us are ill, sick of something that we are not in control of. God announces His presence to us too in His caring presence and says, I'll take care of you. Let us not be shy to recognize the goodness of God in there and say, the Lord took care of me. When it was announced that all these people will meet God, we do in the way God announces to us in our life. Tells us that God works in our life. The more I continue to think of my ministry here, the more I discover the many people who come to me and says, this is where I meet God in my life. And that makes me happy because I am not the one who's making that happen to them, but because I was privileged to hear the news. You have the news in your heart. You have the news in your life. How will you announce that to others? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us all stand and offer our prayers. Gracious and caring God, we thank you for announcing to us the presence of God who cares for us, but by his birth came to save us. May we recognize Him today in the things that we do. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray that we be open in our hearts and say yes to God who come to announce His presence to us today. May we be a sign to others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those people who are hungry, homeless, sick and needing care that our care for them becomes the true presence of God here in our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray that we continue to teach our children the presence of God who walks with us in our daily lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And this Mass is being offered today for Jaime and Coronation Thomas, for Dana Toniki, for Josie Salvador, for Paul and Agnes Kim. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful God, thank you for coming to us and continue to walk with us in our daily lives. May our words and actions today symbolize your message to all of us. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
As the Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of God. Bless you, God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. By the Lord accepts our resolution for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and for good and holy. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church offering, so that she who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Give up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, O we Father Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. When the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men for men's sake, by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit, lovingly she bore him in her immaculate womb, that the promises to the children of Israel might come about and the hope of in of the nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him, those of angels adore your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in our one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. For Son in the eyes. You are indeed the holy, O Lord, the front of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sent into the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Place our bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face and mercy on us all, we pray. That we, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory in and on which words, forever and ever. Amen. By the Savior's command and for by divine teaching, we pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graces we grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and power are you now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer each other this sign. Lamb of God, who we'll take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy. Lamb of God, who we'll take away the sins of the world, have mercy. Lamb of God, who we'll take away the sins of the world, have mercy. Lamb of God, who we'll take away the sins of the world, Behold the Lamb of God, who we'll takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter under my roof, but the same word in my soul shall be you. is in the gathering hymnal number 782 Hail Mary gentle woman